Hello and welcome to another quick crop video. Well, today we're talking about sowing and growing cucumbers. Now, as some of you may know, we're located in the northwest of Ireland, so the climate outside isn't really suitable for growing warmth-loving plants like cucumbers. So these guys are going to be sown in these modular trays and then planted out in the polytunnel. So they're going to lead a very pampered life right through from seed until harvest. Now, I have everything I need, the trays, as I said, I've got my seed compost, my watering can, and of course my cucumber seeds. So let's get ready and do some sowing. Now, when do we sow our seeds? Well, as I've said, cucumbers are warmth loving plants, so they're going to need a nice, long, warm, sunny summer to ripen properly. So I'm going to sow my seeds at the end of March with a view of planting them into my polytunnel at the beginning of May. Now that's where we have a little bit of a problem because cucumber seeds are going to need at least 20, 22 degrees Celsius to germinate. So once I've sown my seeds, I'm going to have to place my tray on a heated heat bench in order to provide that artificial heat just to protect them and get them going in their early stages of life. What we have here is a nice fine seed compost and that's going to be really easy for the plant roots to work their way down into. And I'm just going to fill my trays and as I go I'm just rubbing my hands together like that and that's to break up any lumps that might be in the compost and just give us a nice fine consistency. So I just fill the tray up to the top and then I'm going to smooth it off like that and then just give it a tap on the bench just to settle the compost and then we're ready to sow our seeds. Now, cucumber seeds, as you can see, they're quite big and easy to handle, so quite nice to sow. I'm going to put one in each of these modules and I'm pushing them in, I suppose, about two centimetres into the compost. Now, interestingly, many people will tell you that you should sow your cucumber courgette or any similar type of seeds on their edge like that, and that's to stop them from rotting. But research has shown that that's a load of nonsense, so you can actually sow them any way that you like. Our last job then is just to fill over the seeds with a fairly thin layer of compost, I suppose about half a centimetre or a centimetre maybe, something like that. Again, I'm just rubbing it through my hands there just to break up any lumps. And then I'm just going to use this little bit of timber here and I'm just basically scraping off the top of the compost. I'm not compacting it down, just scraping the top off. And then the last thing we need to do is just give it a bit of a water and then we're going to move it over onto our heat bench. Now our heat bench consists of these heating cables buried in a layer of sand and as I've said we want to set our temperature at between 20 and 22 degrees Celsius just to get the seeds to germinate. Now once the plants have come up we can turn our heat down again but I wouldn't go below uh, about 15 degrees Celsius. We need to keep our compost moist, uh, our cucumber seedlings are not going to like drying out but we have to be careful not to overwater them and absolutely saturate them. So I'm going to leave them here on their heat bench for about four to six weeks and then we're going to plant them out in their final spacings in the polytunnel. Well, we're about four weeks in now. These plants are four weeks old and we can see that they're doing very nicely. We've got our nice big secondary leaves there. They're kind of rough there underneath, a bit like a cat's tongue or something, and they're ready to plant out. But where we live, I can't plant them outside. It's gonna be far too cold and they won't like it. So I'm gonna put them in my tunnel. I'm gonna plant them in my central raised beds here and then I'm gonna grow them up twine onto these crop support wires out towards the end of the tunnel and towards you guys. But before we put them in, we have to make sure that our soil has enough nutrients in it. After all, we're expecting an awful lot from this relatively small square of soil to produce these big vines all dripping with cucumber fruit. So the first thing we're going to go for here is an organic manure and I'm going to use this G-Up organic uh, horse manure and then I'm going to use these sea feed pellets and again a generous amount of those and this is a poultry manure pellet composted with seaweed and uh, I'm going to do that now. So let's start just working this into the soil. Now I'm going to add I suppose about uh, a third of the bag of our uh, horse manure to this square meter here and then I'm going to be pretty generous with my uh, sea feed and I think I'm going to, I'm going to go for maybe six uh, generous handfuls just to really feed it up because I know how hungry these plants are going to be that's six there and then we're basically going to get stuck in just like we're making cake and mix it in like that 
So while our cucumber fruits need plenty of warmth and sunshine to ripen, the roots like to be kept cool and moist. So what I've done here is I've dug a hole in the center. I'm going to put a plant either side and I'm going to bury this old plastic water bottle. I've cut the end off. I still have the cap on and I've just made a few holes around the outside with the scissors and this is going to act as a reservoir. So I bury it here and then during my watering I simply fill the reservoir and it'll slowly drain out and give my cucumber roots a nice cool drink and make sure that they're nice and happy. I've gone ahead and planted one of my cucumber plants along with its support wire so let's do the second one now uh, just to show you how I did it. First thing we need to do is bury a piece of twine and that's going to be buried underneath the plant so I've dug a slightly deeper hole than I need and I'm just going to bury the twine in the bottom. We'll tie that on later. Then I'm going to partially backfill the hole and I'm going to add another handful of our sea feed here and just mix that in just to give the plant a head start. Now, unlike tomato plants, cucumber plants need to be planted with the finished soil level uh, level with the original compost, and that's to prevent against stem rot. If you plant them too deep, this can rot, and that's the end of your plant. So I'm just going to bring the soil level inside the hole just up to about the same level as our little seedling plug and now I'm just filling in around the plant and I'm pushing the soil in towards the root ball to get a nice seal just keeping my string kind of up beside the stem there as I'm doing it that's looking very happy there and again just squeezing it in nicely that's it and then the way this works is I'm going to be twining the cucumber as it grows just gently twining it around uh, this piece of orange twine as its support wire so I'm just going to come up here and tie this onto the support of my tunnel so I'm just going to tie my uh, twine up onto the support wire here so we just get our uh, approximate size there and uh, cut it with the scissors oops <laughs> So I'm just going to tie it on with a slip knot here and the reason for that is I may need to tighten or loosen the wire as the uh, cucumber grows. So just a simple slip knot there and that's it. As regards feeding, because we've added a nice quantity of manure, there really isn't much to do. But if your plants aren't nice and vigorous, you can add a further top dressing of the sea feed, seaweed and poultry manure pellets. Now, also, we did say that the uh, soil needs to be kept moist. Our roots like to be moist and cool. So we can mulch if we have a very hot summer, we could mulch with straw or a good garden compost. Now, you may also see some roots coming to the surface. And if this happens, out with your compost again and just give a little bit of mulch and that will both protect and feed them. And we're back and it's about eight weeks later now and you can see that we've had loads of growth from our cucumbers and everything else in the tunnel so we've got a right little Garden of Eden going on now. I just have a few jobs that I need to do here. I'm just going to show you a little bit of maintenance on the cucumber plants now so come into the tunnel and we're going to have a look. So we've just filled up our reservoir here and uh, as we can see it's working because our cucumbers are getting plenty of moisture. Uh, just look at this nice big juicy one uh, sitting here. Now I've also been replenishing my straw mulch here and that's to prevent evaporation because it's getting quite hot in the tunnel now in midsummer, and that's going to keep the soil nice and moist because as we've said cucumbers do not like their roots drying out. We have a little bit of maintenance to do now. I'm going to remove these side shoots on the plant. Now, I've been waiting a little while to film this video, so these have got a little bit longer than they should have, but I want to snip them off nonetheless. What I want really is to have one central stem here, and you can see I've trained it up to the string on the roof here, and then it's growing off along the length of the tunnel along this rope here, and we can see we've got a lot of immature cucumbers up there. As I said, I want to snip it off. Now, usually I would snip it right up to the stem. Do be careful at this stage because I've done it myself and snipped the main stem by mistake because they look very similar. So just cut this off. Now, I do have a cucumber growing here, so I'm actually just going to cut it after those first two and I'm going to discard that. And then I'm just going to work my way around the rest of the plants and I'm looking for a side shoot coming off the main stem and I'm going to remove them. Now, we can see the fruits are developing really nicely on the vine here. 
I haven't actually given this plant any extra feed since we put in the seedlings but remember we did focus on feeding the soil before we started. As the season progresses and especially when the plant has so many fruit on it like that I think I will start feeding it and probably every week. I'm going to use a tomato feed because it's high in potash because the plant is putting all its energy into the fruiting stage of its cycle and that's when it needs a high potash feed. Now we're looking at the main stem here again which I'm training across this rope here and they really are quite beautiful plants. I mean look at these lovely little curly tendrils they're just looking for something to latch onto to kind of launch the plant across the tunnel here. We can also see these yellow cucumber flowers and this is probably a good time to mention that these plants are actually all female varieties and the reason I know that is that when I look at the flowers I can see a little immature cucumber starting to swell behind the flower. If that was a male flower it would just be a thin stem with then the flower on the end. Now I highly recommend you grow all female varieties because the older cultivars with the male female you would need to remove the male flower regularly because if the male pollinates the female flower then the resulting cucumber can be quite bitter. Now the other difference between the older and all female uh, cultivars is that the fruit on the older ones is actually produced on those side branches which we've just removed so there is quite a lot more training to do with your plant. As regards pests and disease as well as you can see these guys are really healthy and I find if my plants are well fed my soil is moist and I have a decent bit of ventilation in the tunnel I never really have any problems. The three things with cucumbers maybe you'd want to look out for are red spider mite, mosaic virus and powdery mildew but as I said if the plant is growing healthily you'll rarely have any problems. And now my favourite part and what makes all this work, if you could call it work, so worthwhile is the taste of the stuff that we produce. So I'm just going to have a little slice of my juicy cucumber and then for good measure I'm going to throw in a sun gold tomato I just picked in the tunnel and maybe a leaf of basil. Freshly picked. Flavour is just incredible. And that's what it's all about. Really, really fantastic stuff. Now remember, anything you need to grow your cucumbers, tomatoes, anything in a polytunnel, anything out in the vegetable garden, they're all available on our websites, quickcrop.ie and quickcrop.co.uk. I look forward to seeing you again in the polytunnel next time.